Hi and welcome to day 40 of our Lent Reflections, Faith. Hebrews 11, 1 and 2 says, The fundamental fact of existence is that this trust in God, this faith, is the firm foundation under everything that makes life worth living. It's our handle on what we can't see. The act of faith is what distinguished our ancestors, set them above the crowds. That's from the message translation. Can you remember the subject of the last sermon you ever heard? What was talked about in the last cell group? What did Wednesday's daily Bible reading say? Whether you can remember or not, did you change your way of life as a result? We are not called by God to believe certain doctrinal truths, to understand in depth the culture of the ancient Middle East, nor to be able to understand Hebrew and Greek. These might be worthy things, but they don't constitute faith. The call of God is first and foremost to discipleship. Jesus says, come and follow me. That was the call to the first disciples, and when Jesus commissioned them to go, he wanted them to pass on all that he had taught. If Jesus had a pet subject, it was faith. The call to come and follow is a call to have faith, to trust, to be prepared to go outside of your comfort zone. Some to whom Jesus gave the call made excuses. They had other things to do, and so they didn't follow. They didn't have enough faith to make that step into the fullness of life that Jesus had promised. It has been said that faith is daring to take God at his word. Faith is that ultimate trust in God. And living in faith makes life really worth living. We might not be able to see the future, but we know by faith that God has planned and purposed and provided everything not to do us harm, but to prosper us, to give us hope and to give us a good future. Remember that when Jeremiah prophesied that, it was just before 70 years of exile. They needed to be reminded of the promises of God because they were going to face difficult times. Faith is a verb, it's a doing word. It was the act of faith that set those great women and men of the Bible above the crowd. I recently visited the home of the Message Trust here in Manchester. What what struck me was how big things were and I began to reflect that the whole project was an act of faith. What is the success factor of ministries like the Message? Simple. It's simple acts of faith. Andy Orhorn, who founded and leads the message, received a vision from God and he's worked tirelessly to see it fulfilled, often against unbelievable odds, trusting that what God had promised is true and will be fulfilled. If you're feeling that you're just part of the crowd, today is the day to take an act of faith and to stand out from the crowd. What has God promised you? Where is Jesus leading you? Don't read Christian biographies and wonder why they made it and you haven't. Resolve today to do what God has asked and to go where God is sending. By faith, you will receive what has been promised But God cares and loves you too much to force you to go against your will. So next time you hear a good sermon, attend a cell group, or when a daily Bible reading speaks to you, don't just say, Amen. Resolve to do something with the information. Maybe there are things in your life you need to change. Perhaps you need to invite someone to a celebration service. Maybe you need to invite your neighbours in for a cup of tea and begin to share about God's kingdom. Or maybe you will be just leading a life-changing ministry that impacts thousands for Christ 
in the words of the famous marketing slogan, just do it.